Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So just recently, a subscriber to the channel by the name of Vernon wrote in and asked a question, how do you tell the difference between a vining philodendron and pothos? So today, we're going to go up on the plant deck and we're going to go take a look and see if we can figure it out. So you know the sun is shining, the island breeze is blowing, it's time that you and I got growing. Come on, let's have some fun. So we're up on the plant deck today and we're going to try and tell the difference between two types of vining aeroids. One is philodendron and the other one is pothos. Now these two are very, very similar, not only in shape and size and color, but they also grow about the same way. So why is knowing the difference important? Well, let's say you go out and you're plant shopping like all of us love to do, and you come upon a vining aeroid, and you want to make sure that it's not mislabeled. It doesn't mean that the people are being disingenuous or dishonest. Sometimes mistakes are made, and there are all sorts of different names that just float everywhere back and forth. You will know the difference, and if you're buying a pothos, you'll know that it is a pothos. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some of the ways that you can tell by giving a real quick look to the plant. Okay, so why don't we start with one of the ways that's really, really easy, and that is the roots that come out of each node. Now, the pothos in general will have a single root, and it's going to be more thick. The philodendron, on the other hand, is going to have multiple roots, and they're going to be a little bit thinner than you would find on a pothos. So one of the differences is that philodendron in general will have a sheath that comes out of the stem where the leaf meets the stem, that's called the node, and you can see that right here. And you can see right here the pothos is pretty naked, it does not have a sheath. So one of the other ways that you can tell the difference between pothos and philodendron is the way that the petiole meets the leaf. And this is the petiole right here. And you can see that it is fairly straight on the leaf. Whereas you can see in this philodendron, by the way, this is called Brazil, you can see that the leaf is pointing downwards. So it all depends on how the leaf is situated, where it meets the petiole, and again, the philodendron points downward, and you can see that the pothos points fairly flat and perpendicular to the petiole. So this gives you a better view of what I was trying to show before, how the base of the petiole comes up to the leaf and attaches to the leaf. This is the pothos and as you can see it's pretty much in a straight line. And this is the philodendron and if you take a look there is a sharp downward turn of the leaf. Now you can also see the multiple roots on the philodendron and the relatively larger single roots that come out of the pothos. Okay, so this next difference may end up being a little bit of a stretch, um, <laughs> but I'm going to try and make it so that you can see this leaf and in general, the pothos leaf is going to have uh, little bumps in between the veining of the leaf. So the pothos, take my word for it, has little bumps in between the ridges of the veins. And maybe you can see it in the light. 
I know it is a bit of a stretch and it's hard to show it to you. Believe me, it's true. If you wet the leaf down, you can uh, really, really see the difference. And sometimes you can see the little bumps and protrusions uh, in the pot of leaf underneath of the leaf. Okay, so this is Brazil. Uh, again, a philodendron, a vining philodendron, and um, you can see that, yes, it does have creases, but if you take a look at the creases, um, there are no bumps and ridges in between um, the veining of the leaf. I know, this is a stretch, guys, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. So this last difference is going to be an even greater leap of faith on your part, but take my word for it. Uh, the pothos leaf is, uh, in, at least relative to the philodendron, is thicker and more waxy, where the philodendron is a much thinner leaf and not we're not satin not quite as waxy as the other it certainly is thinner if you take a look you can see right there in profile that that is a lot skinnier than than the pothos leaf so okay guys that's about it pretty easy isn't it and i hope you've learned the difference between pothos and philodendron so you know what I hope wherever you are, your sun is shining, you have an island breeze blowing. Keep on growing, have some fun. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.